MSNBC host Alex Witt and Democratic California Representative Barbara Lee were puzzled by former President Donald Trump's visit to a Pennsylvania McDonald's on Sunday, where he helped out while a crowd cheered him on from outside. Since September, Trump has repeatedly accused Harris of lying about working at a McDonald's in Alameda, California, during the summer of 1983. On Alex Witt reports, the MSNBC host shifted her interview with Lee to discuss Trump's visit, showing a series of videos where he wore a McDonald's apron and helped cook some of the food. He's going to work a fryer, apparently, before he goes to the Steelers vs. Jets game. I mean, if you are on his campaign, and I know you are certainly not, I'm not making any implication of that. What is the logic behind this? Witt asked. We know the guy likes Big Macs and filet of fish and he's used the word love to describe the way he feels about the food there before. But what's this about? Lee told the host there was no logic behind the move and argued that the former president has not put forth an economic agenda. There's no logic to it, it's a stunt. He has not put forth an economic agenda. He, as you know, appears to be not well. He's engaged in some really bizarre types of activities during this campaign. So this is just another one of those stunts that he will continue on through the campaign and I think that we need to really focus on making sure that he is not elected, of course, because he is a threat to our democracy," Lee said what went on to highlight Trump's accusations of Harris lying about working at the fast food restaurant, questioning what the point was of the call-out. In response, Lee defended the vice president, stating that she tells the truth while Trump is constantly telling lies. However, videos from the event show a massive crowd had gathered for the former president at the Bucks County, Pennsylvania McDonald's. Trump was seen shaking hands with employees, frying the store's French fries and handing out food to supporters through the drive-by window. During an interaction with one supporter who stated her name was Brazil, pleaded with the former president to not let the United States become Brazil. Oh we'll keep it good. We're going to make it better than ever, OK? Trump said as he could be seen thanking her as the crowd in the background could be heard cheering. The crowd outside the facility flooded the parking lot with Trump flags either being held by supporters or flown from the backs of cars. While Harris has maintained that she worked at the fast food restaurant in California, Trump responded by saying he's now worked 15 minutes more than Kamala. Subscribe and click the bell icon for the more videos.